So today we're going to be doing an experiment with sound and we have Professor Brian Cox here who's going to help us out today. Hello. Hello. Yeah. That's not very loud, is it? That's, That's the, first, the first lesson in sound. Hello. Hello. So this morning we're going to be looking how we can change pitch and volume. So I would like you to make some instruments. So on tray one we have our empty bottles and we have things we might find in the kitchen to make a shaker. <laughs> On tray two, we have our little plastic tubs with the elastic bands that we might be able to use. I think you could play a song on this. On three, we have our lovely tuning forks. Knocking them, listening really carefully to what we're able to hear. So, Professor Cox, what would you like to make today? Oh, I think I, think I like the elastic bands. So let's make a guitar. So, so what do I do? So do first have... you get one elastic band and put it on the plastic container. So we could get the same elastic bands and just see if they sound the same. That's a good idea. So that's called fair testing, isn't it? Where you just change one thing at once and see what happens. It's about the same, isn't it? So there are lots of things that we can change, aren't there? There's the elastic bands themselves and how thick they are. And then there's the width, the box. So making it tighter makes the pitch go up, doesn't it? It's like tuning a real guitar. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Do you play guitar? Does anyone play guitar? Me? Four of you. It'd be quite hard to play a tune like that, though, wouldn't it? doing that to us. That sounds amazing, doesn't it? That's really good. I can't hear you anything. Well, what we need to do is slide our fingers down to the handle on the tuning fork, because otherwise our fingers can muffle the vibrations on the fork. So try again for me. Can you hear it now? Yeah. Good. So what will you ask the class to do when they finish with the experiments? So what we're going to do is we're going to bring all the children together and we're going to talk about what they found on each of the instruments. So we're going to look at how they've changed the pitch and how they've changed the volume and how they've been able to do that. So you won't be getting to make measurements or plot graphs or anything? No, we want the children to experiment in these sort of lessons. So we'll save the, the writing up and the results for maths lessons or English lessons, but this is really about finding those patterns in the data and what we're able to draw from the actual lesson. Thank <laughs> you.